Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always, we're joined by top barbecue chef, Mr. Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this video, we're going to be making a Cajun chicken. We're going to be using the Weber Pulse Electric Grill. So Richard, talk us through all the prep we need to do for this dish. Really simple. Um, the chicken breasts, we're going to see, we've seasoned those with some salt and pepper. And we've taken our Cajun and our oregano spices, seasonings, put those on so they're ready to go. They've also been out of the fridge for a good 20 minutes, half an hour, just to take the chill off. And then in the dish here, we've got the rest of our ingredients, pretty much the rest of our liquid ingredients. So we've got the beer, the barbecue sauce, the Worcester sauce, the hot chili sauce, uh, crushed chili flakes, a little bit of lime juice. So we've got everything ready to go. We've also got our butter here and our garlic that's been pureed down. And we've got our spring onions for garnish as well. So oregano and Cajun spice on the chicken and the rest of the ingredients in the bowl, which we'll use at the right time. So now we've got everything ready, let's go to the barbecue. We've set this up, we're using the electric pulse. We've got the two zone, the left and the right. So we've got the left zone completely on maximum. And then we've set the, uh, the right side up for, for hot, or just about two thirds there, which is given as a readout of around about 215. So in here we've got, we've actually used the GBS skillet uh, just on top of the grill and it's situated to the left hand side. So in here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of our rapeseed oil and then if you can pass me the um, chicken breasts, there you go. that'd be great. So we're just gonna pop these in, skin side down. Move them around a little bit just to make sure they've got some oil underneath them. These will cook skin side down for a couple of minutes. Then we'll put them, we'll turn them over another couple of minutes and then we put the sauce in. So a couple of minutes, let's have a look at our chicken. Nice little bit of colour on there, so they're ready to turn over. We're using the skillet because of the, uh, we need to reduce the sauce down. That's, that's why they're not going straight on the grill, but we're going to give them another minute or so on the second side, then we'll come back and transfer the sauce into the skillet. Right, let's have a look at these. We're not trying to cook them through because we're going to uh, carry on cooking them on the side of the barbecue. It's a little bit of a, of a cooler heat, shall we say. So they're just going to sit over here for a couple of minutes, just while we take our garlic and our butter, pop that into the pan. There's still a little bit of residual fat from the chicken, so we can start to cook that out. Also, just use the back of the spoon to really scrape that pan of any little bits of chicken that have just stuck. That will come back into the sauce and it will just give us a really nice flavor in there. The butter, oh, garlic butter, there's just something about that, isn't there? Um, I have to say, it smells really good. I know I say that a lot in a lot of our videos, but this does particularly smell really, really good. It's the Cajun spices, the savouriness of the chicken and then the garlic butter. Right, so now that that's all melted and foaming and we've got the garlic cooked, I'm going to take our dish here that has all the ingredients in, the beer, the lime, the hot sauce, the Worcester sauce. There we go. Let's just try and get as much of that in there as we can. I'm going to give you that back. Thank you very much. You. We'll mix that around, and then simply, we're going to pop this. We're going to pop the lid down on this. We're going to leave this for a couple of minutes. Just keep an eye on it, but not too much. I'm going to keep an eye on it um, and just reduce that down a little bit so that we get what's known in the trade as a nappe sauce, which just means that when you spoon it over something, it, it holds. It doesn't just run straight off. So we're going to carry on cooking the chicken. Bring that to the boil. Reduce that down, and we'll come back in a moment. This is bubbling down nicely. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop our chicken back in. Actually, I'm going to turn it over first just to get a little bit of that sauce on the top, so on the top of the chicken. And then we'll turn them over again. Could you grab me the, um, a little bit of paper towel just for the, um, I just want to wipe the probe. And we're just going to check this chicken. So at this stage, we just need to know how far the chicken is along. Thank you very much. Okay. Helps if you turn it on. So just so that we know how far through the cooking process we are. So 67, 68, so we're, we're literally moments away. I'll just check one of the other ones as well. And that is looking the same. So we'll give these another minute or two. But when you check yours at home, obviously your, your target temperature, your final temperature is going to be 75 degrees. So just use that point as a, as a kind of a point where you know how much longer the chicken is going to take so that you can judge how long to carry on cooking it for. But we'll leave those another minute and then we'll come back. Right, let's have a, hopefully, a final temp check. 
and we just check. So 74, 75, yep. We'll check another one as well. So again, point of the probe in the thickest part of the meat. 73, 74, 75, good to go. Right, let's pop gloves on. So we'll turn that off. Yes, thank you for letting me know that I've done that. So we'll pop that over there. Lid down. Really simple. I'm thinking this dish would go really well with some grilled corn or a coleslaw or something like that, or a slaw, depending on whereabouts you're uh, serving this from. So, there we go. Fresh set of tongs, just in case anybody's watching and wants to leave a comment below. Grab a little bit, little bit of that sauce. It's reduced down nicely. There we go. And that is our Cajun chicken breast. There we go. So while you do the outro, I'll just cut into a piece of this so that you can see the yeah. inside of it. And then uh, we might have a little taste. Might have a little taste. Might have a little taste. Always have a little taste. Juicy as you like. So if you want to find out about the recipe, visit the website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. It'll be in the blog section of the website, and there'll be information in there about the, uh, all the recipe, the equipment we've used. If you want to have a look at the equipment in person, pop along to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. We have all the barbecues on display. Um, if you want to have a go with one, bring some food along. Um, so make an appointment and we'll let you have a cook on one if you want to see what it cooks like for yourself firsthand. Um, you tried a bit? Mm, really, really good. But what I want to just... Nice and juicy on the inside, cooked all the way through, beautiful, 75, I'm going to have another piece. So all that's left for us to say is thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.